Hi everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today I want to try something different. Every time I turn my camera on, I see something in my mold. I want to use coffee beans. So I went through a bunch of coffee beans and picked out the ones that I liked and took out the broken ones. And I'm going to try them in two coasters, but I'm kind of going to do a couple different techniques in here. So I have a brown mica powder. I'm going to try to keep as light as I can. I might add white to it. I'm not sure. I don't want it too dark. But I think I'm going to put like coffee beans in one corner and just get them wet with resin, let them cure. And then the rest of it, I'm going to try to get like a little crackle kind of effect, but with just one color of mica powder in there. And then I might put like a little decal or something inside, cover them up with resin, and it'll be embedded on the inside. Um, not sure how it's going to go. I think the coffee bean part will be fine, but I'm just wondering what that little mica powder effect is going to give me. So let me get a couple ounces of resin. Actually, I'm just going to do like one ounce of resin and get the coffee beans in and dried before we move on. So I put my beans in the little cup here and I mixed up half an ounce because I just really want to just coat them. So I'm just going to dump that in here and get them mixed up. I'll put a little bit over them, but I don't want too much. I'm not trying to coat the bottom of the coaster mold. I'm just trying to, because the coaster mold I want to have mostly clear. So when I do pour in the clear, it will affect do the effect with the mica powder if that I, it'll make sense when I do it <laughs> so I'm just going to arrange these oh this looks like the perfect amount what a good guess arrange my little coffee beans in the corner kind of like triangular make sure if you do do this that they're underneath the lip of your your um your mold you don't want them sticking out so I'm just going to get them in like one, one layer, I guess is what I'm trying to say. One layer in flat. And it's not going to be perfect. I mean, they're coffee beans, so you're not going to get like a straight line or anything. I just want them in one layer, I guess. Just run my stick over, make sure nothing's sticking up, and do the same thing on this one. Now I'm probably going to go on my Cricut, on the design space that goes with the Cricut, and see if I could find a little decal, or maybe just print out a little saying. I don't know what that is in there. I need to get it out though. I might print out a little saying or something to go on the mica powder part. I'm not a coffee drinker, I can't stand coffee, but I thought this was a cute idea for those coffee drinkers. And like if you have a, I'm pretty sure this is, I used my, my Fast Cure for this section. I'm pretty sure that Let's Resin's Resin is good for high temperatures, I'm pretty sure. If you don't have one that's good for high temperatures, they do have some high heat. I do have one other one that I use for high heat. Just want these to kind of stay together once it's cured. I was hoping I could pour a little bit over it, but I don't have enough to pour over it. And then again, I need a longer stick. I'll use a pencil. Just make sure nothing's sticking up over the edge. I have a few left. I don't want too many. And I might mix up another half ounce for the two of them and just pour it over that way. There is something um, extra holding them down. So I don't know how well they're going to stay in place without anything. Okay. 
All right, that looks good. And I guess maybe I don't. It's all it's all kind of combining. It's draining off the bean and into the bottom. So that's really all I wanted to do. So I don't think I'm going to um, mix up anymore. I'm just gonna scrape out what's left in the cup and put it in these little holes. It will get all filled in later when I do the top coat anyway. What's at the bottom here? All right, but it's been about three or four hours. It is hard. It is ready. So I've mixed up two more ounces of clear. I've split it, but I haven't colored it yet. So I just want to pour a super thin layer of clear all around the bottom here and just kind of spread it out so it's touching all the surfaces. I don't really want to go up above these beans yet because I'm trying to keep these thin layers. And I don't even know if I'm going to be using all two ounces at this point. So I'm just going to pour a little on each one. Then I'm going to mix up some mica powder, the brown that I'm talking about. I'm hoping I get kind of a crackly, bubbly, it's hard to explain effect. <laughs> and that's why I'm putting the clear on the bottom because I think that's what I need to do to do this. Just want it just covered not and it's see, where it's pulling away it just means there's not enough and I still have some in there now I see a piece of glitter in there there it is all right I'm just going to mix up some brown Not too crazy heavy with mica powder. And what I'm going to do is pour some on this side and then pour some more clear over it, hoping I'm going to get some of effect from it. So I'm just going to kind of do this. No rhyme or reason. Don't want too much. Let me grab my little baby torch. Actually, I don't want to torch that. It's too thin. Pop some bubbles. Little bubble there. All right, then what I'm going to do Drizzle more white all over, or white, more clear all over my brown. I'm going to grab my heat gun. I'm going to add a little more brown because I, I do want it filled in.
I smell coffee because I'm heating up the coffee beans. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna let that sit and I hope I get what I'm talking about because I can't really explain what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to get the brown everywhere. I know this swirls I'm putting in here isn't gonna stay, but let's hope I get what I'm looking for. All right, be back in a little while. All right, they're cured and I've got my little decals ready to go. I've got some effect, but not exactly what I was looking for. I wanted it to be more dramatic than that, but I think I was just a little too light on the mica powder, but it was trying to do what I wanted it to do. So if you do want that effect, just put more mica powder in. I think it would have been better. So I'm not gonna unmold them. I cut out two, two coffee cups let's say coffee and I'm gonna put them here in the corners and then I'm gonna top coat it with clear so because this glitter paper is such a pain to put on transfer tape I use painters tape because it sticks much better the only problem is you can't see through it as well so you just kind of have to hope you get it straight because you can't really tell where it's going with the painter's tape. So I'm just gonna get that on there and pour a little bit of um, clear to fill it back up. Here we go. Looks kind of cute. I'm just gonna get this one put on some tape and put this on there. If you do use painter's tape, just cut as close as you can to the image so you're not really taking too, <laughs> excuse me, too much of a guess on where it should go. Cause you can't really tell if it's perfectly straight or not when you use this. But it certainly sticks much better. That one's a little crooked, but not that bad. All right, let me grab some resin. All right, I've mixed up my resin. I ran it through my bubble remover. Try to cut down on some bubbles. And I'm just going to coat them until they are domed. And let them cure, so simple. I think the only thing I would change is the amount of mica I used in the brown. Now just watch them too, because some of these um, coffee beans might be holding bubbles. Let's see, like right in here, there's a little bubble coming up from that crease. I see a piece of glitter in there. <laughs> of course there is. Little bubbles are stuck in these little creases of the beans, so we just get them out. And then it should be good. I don't see any other bubbles. It's like there's some that I won't be getting out that cured in the first layer right here. So it looks like the cured bubbles are stuck there forever. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you in a second. They're all done, they're cured. I took them out of the mold since there was really no reveal. So I have several lessons for you to take away from this if you're going to try coffee beans. Being that this was my first time, I've learned several lessons, okay? So the first one is See all those little bubbles on the bottom? When you let your first layer of coffee beans dry, make sure your bubbles are popped. I didn't even think of looking for those bubbles when that first layer was curing. Oh, the back has a bunch of crackle now that I see it up close. That's what I was going for on the top, and I got it on the bottom. Well, that was lesson number two. Put more mica powder in for the crackle effect if you want the crackle effect. 
because it needs the mica to react with. I don't know what I was thinking going light on the mica. I was more concerned about not being too dark than getting the effect. So now I remember, and I will know for next time, more mica powder, maybe just use a different color. Third thing I learned, I put these in my curing machine to speed up the process. Well, I have surface bubbles that came up from out of these coffee beans when I wasn't looking. And of course, the curing machine heated it up and cured it right away. So by the time I realized what was happening, I couldn't save it. So there are a couple surface bubbles on the top. So all in all, I have lessons for you to learn, just like I always do. See, I think I come here to show you guys what not to do, not necessarily how to do anything perfect, because <laughs> I'm not having much luck with anything perfect lately. So those are my two coffee mo my two coffee coasters for you guys. Now we were getting ready to do a uh, a riverboard with coffee beans. So actually, I'm really glad I did this first because I cannot imagine ruining a river cutting board with all those bubbles in there although we would be using deep pour and all those bubbles would have two days to come out but i'm so glad i learned this lesson on these coasters i did take a little marker my uh chrome marker in gold i went around the edges to see if that would help it not too much is going to help it but anyway these are done on to the next project <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you all tomorrow. You have a blessed day. Bye.